I'm Star. I'm Fred, known as Wolf. Good morning. And welcome to my channel, Starlight and, Star Rate 70. And welcome to one year of Star and her diamond painting. Yes, it's been one year today that I actually started diamond painting. Here is my very first diamond painting that I did. It is a seven, yeah, a 40 by 70. And I got it off of Timu. So that's where that came from. So that was my very start of diamond painting. <laughs> Pixie says hi. And then there's Mr. Ollie there. He Ollie says, says hi. hi. They wanted to be up here with us today, which, <laughs> you know, how it goes with puppies. And our kitties are all around somewhere, but um, Ollie's gonna get down now. Well. But anyway, we have a draw to do. So first off though, um, thank you all for being here. And he threw me totally off what I usually say every morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you're returning, thank you. And if you're new, welcome. There you go. <laughs> I've grown my hair back just for the draw. Oh, yeah. So we thank you to all those that attended. We had 29, I believe, 20. entries for um, the draw. So uh, we... Where are they? Here they are. We cut them up and they're all in here, all the names. So good luck to all that entered. And guess what? You get some weird items. And no, unfortunately, you won't get his weird hat. <laughs> or what do you call it? Wig? Is it wig? I think it's a wig. Yeah, you won't be getting the weird wig. Do we still put them in here? Huh? I thought you were putting them in here. I am, but I'm just mixing them up. Oh, you want to mix them up in there? Okay. We'll He's going to mix them up. Them up. I was trying to mix him up all good in the uh, container, but he's going to mix it up. So while he does that, let's do our let's do our uh, message of the day. I got these cards from Timu. I think they were like two. I know they were under three dollars, and I did show them yesterday. Um, they're called "Loving Words from Jesus," and they are from Doreen Virtue. Now we were doing her Love and Light series, and so I found these and said, "Yes, please." So I did pick them up. She does have a YouTube channel. Um, I'll have her link to my description for you if you're interested in going to check her out. And so I'm just mixing up the cards here. And I should have probably taken out yesterday's card because knowing me, I'll pick the same one. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to see what our message of the day is. So this one says, My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. John 6.32 and there's a pretty card, absolutely gorgeous images. And there's the verse. So my father gives you the true bread from heaven. And that is so right. All right. So that is done. Now, do you want me to do my shadow first or should we do the drop first? Because I do have a shout out today. I think we should do the shout out. Do the shout out? All right. So. Yesterday, or last night, or early morning, however you want to look at it, I was watching uh, Diamond Pita and she mentioned this channel. So I went over and I subscribed to her and she left me a comment back. She says, you know what? I've been subscribed to you from the very beginning. And I'm like, oh really? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> Often, uh, at least my job, to I put in the new subscribers and they're in the description. But not all the subscribers show up. And I guess that's a privacy setting that uh, you can choose. And so of the 800 plus subscribers, 834, 833, I believe it is at the moment. And we all thank you for that. But we only see about, uh, maybe about 250 to 300 of those. Uh, in the, at least in the list that I have over next door. So, if anyone would like to change their privacy settings so we see you, that entirely, of course, is up to you. Uh, there is going to be a kind of a surprise that I'm working on for the, all the subscribers when we hit the 1,000. We hope that that is going to be soon. But again, with your support 
and your love for being part of the RV family, we're yes. going to get there. We are so going to get thank there. Thank you. Yes, thank you all so very much that have subscribed, that have liked, that have commented. We just so appreciate everything that you do for us here in our RV, in, our, in my cozy corner. And yes, you all belong to the RV family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider so. We have a lot of fun here. We do a uh, lot of Timu hauls, uh, mostly diamond paintings, um, but we do do some themed hauls. So that's a mixture of diamond paintings and other different things that we find on Timu. And um, I am an affiliate and a influencer for Timu. Uh, that doesn't mean that Timu gives me free stuff. I wish, <laughs> right? right? We we wish, but um, if you do use my code, it does help, and then I can get these little sponsored hauls, is what they're called. I think they're called something else now, campaigns, I think is what they're called now, but anyway, you um, do these little campaigns, and uh, they give you credit to go shopping, um, kind of something very similar to price adjustments, so credit, and then you can go shopping, and then they have a whole list, and then yeah. So that's how that works. One of our, uh, one of my weird, uh, how would I describe that? Uh, sayings? Let's see. I am an instigator yes. to a, an affiliate who is an influencer. That's right, he is the instigator. <laughs> Many times I go to my cart and it is packed full because of my little instigator over here but uh but anyway <laughs> um anyway the channel today that i want to shout out like i was saying um her name is karen sue small she is from florida i believe um like i said she has been subscribed to the rv family here she says almost right from the beginning so it was so very nice to meet you sue i did i think i believe you go by sue because it says karen aka sue so I'm presuming you go by Sue, um, but regardless, it's so nice to meet you. And I have watched a couple of her videos, and this is what her channel. Whoops, this thing is caught, so let me just unplug it. And the kitty's meowing. But there's her channel right there. And then she has quite a few videos. Uh, she has lots and lots of videos. Uh, right now though she her subscriber is she's got 81 subscribers oh here and she has 152 videos so yes because she's part of the RV family and we show our RV love here go over there give her a subscribe give her a like and leave her a comment I'm sure she would so appreciate that and so would I so with that being said now we have the jar are you ready are you did done? you shake it really good? Like, did you mix them up? Oh, I've, mixed, I've been mixing all. Oh, have you been mixing? I have been mixing. <laughs> all right. I guarantee so you want to lift mixed. it up so they can see. And then we will try. Let's see. And the winner is. Oh, I see. Numbers behind the name. It is Pamela Heading. Oh, sorry. Pamela Heading's 585. So congratulations, Pamela. Um, you are the winner of the weird items. So please contact me through email. My email will be in my description. So leave me an email or you can also contact me on Facebook. Um, my Facebook is there as well. So whatever you're more comfortable with. Again, right there is the name. Pamela Headings 585. So, is that backwards for you guys? Because <laughs> it looks backwards to me when I look at it. But anyway, congratulations, Pamela. So, Pamela, if I don't hear from you, though, within a week, I will be... Friday? No, a week. week? So next, yeah, so day? I'm going to give you a week to respond to me because I know it's summer and it gets busy and stuff. And So, I'm going to give you a week to respond to me. And if I don't hear from you within that week, then... Um, I'm going to repick so just so that you know that and thank you all so very much again for supporting or for watching that video we had so much fun didn't we, did. we? we, did. we had a blast doing it so anyway let's put this somewhere 
special? I know you usually we'll tape, tape that. We'll, we'll tape, tape it on there. On there, hmm. so. Yeah, I guess it's probably the other way. Yeah, no, it doesn't go that way, honey. All right, so today I'm just going to go through some of the dime paintings that I have completed over the past year. And there's a lot. Of course, I have my moon goddess there. I have my very first dime painting there. Um, don't ask me what month, but this was my latest one that um, many of you have seen already. Actually, I did the kitties. The kitties ones. What did I do with the kitty one? Oh, I think it's over there. Anyway, I did the kitties yesterday, but... You got Eeyore and Pooh there, and I did up a little story for Diamond Grandma's event, and this one was submitted for Diamonds by Tita's Radiant Red and the Disney with, um, and I keep forgetting her name, always with Laura, <laughs> over at um, Crafty Chef Diamond. I have to always say her name first, but yes, so that's what uh, that one was for. Oh, you want to put them right there? Okay, because there is a lot here. And then this one here was Welcome to the Funny Farm, and I did it for one of Diamond Grandma's events. And it was Welcome to the Funny Farm, and that's definitely our house right here. <laughs> so yeah, really, really cute. It is a square. I don't remember where I got this one from. She's on the farm. Yeah. This is another Timu, and it's just my little Ollie boy in the uh, fall leaves. I did this one in the fall. I thought it looked so much like Ollie, so did that one. Uh, this one is a round and it is a 50 by 40. And then I did this one. This one has a really nice soft back. This one does come from Timu. And um, this was like one of the first canvases I did to have. Now these diamonds were very hard to stick. Um, I struggled with having these diamonds stick onto this canvas, but it's just a very, very beautiful wolf. And RT something, I think, art, RT art, maybe. I think they're still out there on, on Timu, but then I found Center One, and yeah. But yeah, anyway, that was that one there. Really, really pretty. I um, also have some hanging, little ones hanging up in my trailer here that um, I didn't take down. And then I also have uh, one on my fridge over there. But this one here, of course, is my butterfly fairy. Um, she too, I struggled with keeping all the diamonds on and stuff. And yeah, they're still trying to pop off. And I even um, sealed her and she's still, yeah, thank you, darling. So yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous though. And I just love her. And she was supposed to be for one of my giveaways but I ended up just keeping her because of the issues I've been having with the drills with her. Uh, she was a square as well. Then I did this cute little snowman. It's so cute. Last, so, last winter, I did this one. I don't think I did her did this one for any event. And then, oh, chick fix. And then I got this little one here. It's my, I remind me of my little pixie girl. And so, so cute. And this one's just a 30 by 30, and it's from Timu as well. And then this one here was a mess. <laughs> this one's a 30 by 40. I had a lot of ABs, a lot, a lot of ABs in it. Now, from afar, it actually looks pretty nice. But that's me, Mama Bear, and my three little cows would be my daughters, because I have three daughters. And so, yeah, that's the reason why I chose that one. But it is a square. And, yeah, I, um, I had tons and tons of ABs. I don't know if you can see all the ABs in that. But, yeah, lots and lots of ABs in there. From afar, though, it actually does look pretty nice. So, yeah. Oh, I think my little pixie wants down. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. He's like, let me down. So I'm going to just let her down. Oh, there you go, my girl. All right. Now this one here, I did. Yeah, this one here I did for uh, Fred's boys. He's got three boys, but uh, two of them live together. So I did this dragon, and we used to play a game called World of World of Warcraft that had like Chinese uh, buildings and stuff on it, and so just bring it down. So there's the dragon. This is a forty by seventy. So we'll probably ship it off this year eh, to them. Yep. Uh, for Christmas 
So, because I got it, actually I had it done after Christmas. So that's another one there. Oh, and the little ones are going to play, of course. They're going to chase each other. You guys behave. Then I have this one here. And this one was done for... Is this one done for one of Diamond Grandma's events? I think so. I don't farm remember. One, I believe. Was it the no? It was a funny farm. It was a farm? I don't remember. But anyway, really, really pretty. Now this one does also come from Timu, and um, I know they have smaller versions of this one as well. But this one is what a 50 by 50, I believe. I don't remember. Yeah, it looks like a 50 by 50 or 40 by 40. Let me just see if it says on there. It does. Let me just. Peel back the little tape. I just had put, I didn't even tape it down. Yeah, this one's a 50 by 50. So if you're wondering what a finished 50 by 50 looks like, or the size, this is, this is what a finished 50 by 50 looks like. Okay. So this one here is of my three cats. It's a 40 by 40. It is a square. And I got this one off of Tumu as well. And this one was for uh, one of Diamond Grandma's events, I think, as well. But, and Diamond Tita's, I think, too. But yeah, so this one's Blizzard, this is Marty, and that's Silvermoon. So that's, we got uh, exactly the same colored cats, eh? Yep. As what's on here. So yeah, so there's that one. Then this one is a 50 by 50, and she's just beautiful. This one of your favorite ones. This is one of my favorite ones I did. And it's a little girl, of course, with the, with the angel wings. And I just thought she was just so, so pretty. And so yeah, that is her. So we did that one. And then of course I did this one, as many of you have seen. Um, and that's the fairy that you guys had picked out for me to do. So I got her one, her complete. And then, these are, the, these are the big ones that I've completed. Plus, I do have a couple other big ones I completed, but they were sent away uh, for Christmas gifts that I sent out to my family uh, back home. And there's Sheba. And this oh. one's, yeah, really, really big. This one is a, can you read it? 50 uh, by 60. Yeah, 50 by 60. And this one was a custom that I had made. Off a of Timu. So like I said, all these paintings came, most of these paintings came from Timu. And then I have my small little book that I did. And then I also have, oh, this big book that is almost full. So those are all full of diamond paintings. I don't think we can actually show them. So... Well, I guess we could if we if we put, turn it this way. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, guys. Well, no, they have to be turned up way. They have to be turned this way, honey. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to help. <laughs> okay, so over here a little bit. <laughs> there. Anyway, no, I don't think this is gonna work. It's not going to work very yeah, well. Yeah, we were going to put it on the table. Yeah, I think I think the best way to do this <laughs> is I'm going to put it on the table. I'm going to move my camera. Um, oh, he's going to move all those diamond paintings off the table. I'll probably throw them on the bed. Just make sure the cats don't get on them. Uh, we hang all those up in our... Um, we have a huge closet in the bedroom. And... Don't, don't mind when he walks the whole trailer shakes <laughs> so it's no earthquake don't worry but anyway um so we have this huge closet in our bedroom and we only use half of it for our clothing and the other half is where i hang my diamond paintings uh, my un the ones that i ha that i haven't worked on yet my big ones go under my bed and then i have the same kind of books like this this size here uh for my 30 by 40s and smaller and then this one is for my 20 by 20s and 20 by 30s. And I don't do very many of these anymore. But, um, but anyway, but I will show you that. I think he's done. I think he left. I think he left the party. <laughs> so, say thank you for his help. And, uh, 
he says he's working back there so we'll leave him work back there and then I'm going to pause this and I'll turn my camera around and we'll have a look at my small projects alrighty I'm back okay so these are my 30 by 30 no sorry 20 by 20s and 20 by 30 uh, paintings I've done over the year so the first in here is just a beautiful little cross now looking at it up close it looks like a mess but on camera it actually looks really nice got the butterfly and the cross and the sunflies actually there's two butterflies in this this one here and this is just 20 by 20 and then this one here is my little I don't know if I can get the glare off of that uh, oh dear you see that? Anyways, the little native girl with the butterfly wings. I would love to get these ones bigger. Um, I'd love 40 by 40s in these. Um, but I don't see if Timo has these anymore. I know I looked, uh, not recently, but uh, before, and uh, they, they didn't sell these ones anymore. Um, this is my two wolves uh, and a dream catcher. So you got the black wolf and the white wolf. And then the junior, I just love the colors on this uh, painting here. And this one here is my cactus, my cowboy boots. And again, if you're just looking at it up close, it looks a mess, but from far, you can see the flowers, you can see the boots, and of course the cactus there. Then I have my other, another little, uh, little, um, Native girl with the butterfly wings, she's got the feathers in her hair, and I can't remember what she was holding actually in her hand, but can't really tell because of so much detail in this little part right here. And then I did another one, I really like them, and then here's my other one here. And this I believe is supposed to be an eagle, and you can hardly see that that's an eagle, but yeah. You can make out the little fairy girl, but you can't, or my little Indian fairy girls, but you can't actually see the small detail. Then I did some penguins for Christmas. And then here's a cow. <laughs> yeah, with some flowers all over. Just love him. Then I did uh, January. And I think I have like most of the series done there. Then here is just a truck. Hopefully you can see that um, it's supposed to have some flowers in it and then some cactus but yeah you can't really tell uh, much of what that is so that's what I mean when you're doing these small diamond paintings you have to make sure it's just one thing I think it would have been okay if it was just a truck and uh, um, some flowers be or the uh, cactus behind it but once you start adding all these little flowers it didn't turn out very well unfortunately uh, this one here is, let's go camping, it's a happy camper, and again, now the glare on here, so there's the happy camper, and so it's just really, really cute, and then on this one too, I have some cowboy boots and a hat, so there it is better, and this one has a really nice sparkle to it actually. And then on this side is another happy camper. This one's a bit more busy. So didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped, but it's still cute. Then here's my December one I did. And then here's November's over here. And this one I was very disappointed in. <laughs> It's, I, you can see it kind of on camera. It's a shoe, but there was supposed to be, um, it looks like there was a doorway over here or something, but in a 20 by 30 or a 30 by 20 or whatever size it was, yeah, 30 by 20, I think, um, you can't tell at all. I mean, on the camera you can tell, oh yeah, that's a shoe. But down here, I guess you can see where the do door is kind of here. And then up on top here is supposed to be windows here I believe but yeah just too small and then you have the wolf howling at the moon and then I did another cowboy themed one here with the cactus and the boots and again this would be nice if it was in a bigger size maybe even a 30 by 40 would look nice and that 
Uh, and this one is another wolf. Two wolves here. Uh, actually, it's got three wolves. It's got one here, and it's got one here, and then it's got one somewhere here in the background. I think right here is the other wolf. So, just really pretty. And up close again, you can't really tell what that one is. Then there's my July here. The July one I did. The land that I love. And then here's August. And here's some just crazy birds. <laughs> now this one really got stretched out. Really, really funny. But yeah, the little glasses on. So, and then here's the timbers. So I still got to finish the other ones, but. So those are my completed, and I do have some, like I said, hanging up already on my, uh, in my RV here. But those are my little ones. And I have this big book here. Oh, let's see if I can lift it. It's heavy. All right. I'm going to see how well we can see these ones. All right. So this is the one that, yeah, we were trying to fool around with. So here's Hello Fall. I did this one in the fall. And these, this one is, I think most of these are 30 by 40s. There's probably some uh, 30 by 30s in here as well. This one here is a Hogwarts one I was going to send to my uh, daughter, but I wasn't happy with how it really turned out with the colors. The, to me, it just kind of looked all kind of smushed. So I did a different one for her, and it was a lot larger. Uh, this one here is Santa. I don't know if you can really see that one or not. Probably not. But anyway, you're going to see it this way. <laughs> but it does have uh, Santa on here, on the uh, trailer. It's got... Santa down here. Actually, no. Santa's down here. Here's the sleigh and his reindeers on top. You got trees. Um, you got uh, one of the reindeer over here. And yeah. It's quite messy looking actually. Uh, I don't think... Is this one finished? I don't know why this one's upside down. Oh, because I flipped it. Okay, and then I did this horse. Absolutely beautiful. This is my one of my first partials. Actually, no. I think this was my first partial. Ooh, I also did a huge, huge horse. Uh, what size was that horse that I did, honey? Honey? What size was that horse that I did, that big that big horse I did? Anyway, I did a really large horse, um, brown horse. Oh. Uh, we forgot that one. It was about a 50 by 60. No, it was way bigger than that. Yeah, it was, a, it was really big. Anyway, I for, totally forgot about that one. Um, here's Mickey and Minnie. And then here's another, uh, the Happy Camper in a bigger size. So this one turned out a lot better as you can see. A lot more detail. Just the size alone makes it a lot better. Then I did this one. I love this one. This one is another partial I did. Um, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. And like I said, most of these uh, paintings did come from Timu. Actually, I think more, all of them did. <laughs> oh, here's just a little snowman I did last for, for Christmas. And then I did this one for Christmas with the white puppies because, yeah. It's so my Ollie and my Pixie. And um, so that's, that's what I did for that one. And then here's an eagle flying. Just absolutely gorgeous eagle. Again, uh, up close you can't really see all the detail, but on camera it looks really nice. <laughs> so of course these are nice from far away. This one I can actually see. Um, love the sparkle on this one. It is just a horse. And here's a Christmas horse. So you have a Christmas tree in the background and the horse. And because of it being so black, there was a lot of black in this one, you can't tell up up close what e this even really is but of course from far you definitely can and it's just a beautiful horse with the Christmas tree in the background and here is a beautiful shoe with butterflies and then this one is a chain I did for my husband you can kind of see the chain there hopefully and uh, just a landscape one with the chain my husband absolutely loves trains 
Um, here's Jesus and the Lamb. I absolutely love this one. And there he is, the Good Shepherd. And it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this one I haven't done yet because I I got this for my daughter to do last for Christmas and I couldn't read all the um, the, ta the table here. I couldn't read all the symbols and so I never did do that one. Then I have this cute little fox. He's just adorable. A little fire fox. <laughs> um, here is a wolf. And it's just an angry wolf, except he's got blue eyes. I just absolutely love his eyes. So, loved how his eyes turned out. So, yeah, he turned out really, really nice for a 30 by 40. Then I did this little 30 by 30. It is just a little um, bird on the, sitting on a camera. I thought that was just gorgeous. And then this one is supposed to be glow in the dark. And it doesn't. So, I just stuck it in here. <laughs> And, uh, what do I have underneath it? Uh oh. It actually got stuck to the paper there. I got something underneath this one. I'm not sure. Fill them out. Oh, yeah. So, this is another one that I did for um, my daughter, one of my daughters. And what it's supposed to be is Jesus' hands here holding a dove. And it didn't look anything like it. So, yeah, I was not happy with that one at all. How that turned out. And then this one here was for an event. I know I did this one for one of the events. And just I just thought it was absolutely uh, beautiful. Of course, you got a lantern teapot here. And then you have all the little ghost flowers. <laughs> and you can see a little ghost in here. I just thought that was just so cute. Then this one here is my kitty that I did for October. And then here's just another fox. Now this one also has a lot of ABs in it. Uh, this one comes from MX, MXDP Art. It's a 35 by 35. As you can see all the ABs in that one. There was lots in this one. But absolutely gorgeous fox. And it's got a bunch of tails. It's got fiery tails. And then of course you got your butterfly over here. And this one here is another fox that I did. Um, this one doesn't have any ABs in it, but it has a bunch of tails as well. And it just kind of um, reminded me of the games that we used to play. And then here's a John Deere tractor I did for my dad. i got to send that one to him yet. I did a much bigger one that I sent him for Christmas last year, but I did do up this small little one here too. John Deere, he absolutely loves his John Deere tractors. And then this one is just a partial. It had just very, very few drills actually on this one. And this one is the um, nativity scene. And so that. And this one here is um, one that I did for uh, DP, uh, or sorry, D, yeah, DP Bewitch Cats event. Was the wolf with the feathers. And it's just a 30 or 20 by 30. And this one actually turned out really, really nice. Very, very impressed with that one. Then here is just a dream catcher I did right here. And then, of course, my Eeyore. And this one has a bunch of fairy dust in it. And it's just a little uh, 30 by 30, but boy, was this one. This one is a square, and I've never seen a square actually in a 30 by 30. But yeah, my little Eeyore. So, and that's it, guys. Those are most of my diamond paintings that I've done throughout the year. And then I've done, of course, a lot of different little projects, a lot of keychains and so forth, um, stuff that I've given away. And so, yeah, I did all that. But, whoops. All right. I'm just going to lift you up here a little bit. Oh, does that even work? Probably not even work. There. How's that? <laughs> We're going to fake it. There we go. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, congratulations, uh, Pamela Headings. Uh, remember to contact me. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you here. Um, I enjoyed showing you all my art over the past year, and it sure has been fun. And I am so glad that I joined the RV family, or the RV family, <laughs> why well, I'm part of the RV family. 
<laughs> I'm so glad that I joined the uh, the the YouTube community. <laughs> anyway, guys, from my home to yours, have yourself a fabulous day, and as always, God's richest blessings, and I'll see you on the next one.